year is starting to come to an end. Um, I wanted to get into some top five lists. My first, my first top five list that I wanted to was um, favorite game characters. And it's really just based off the games that I play, whether it's single player, third person shooter, first person shooter, RPGs. Um, I've compiled a list based off of experiences, growth, and just adaptability as far as even getting close to the character, understanding the character, and carrying them along with me in my gaming history. Um, my number five is actually going to be Cole McGrath from, actually, let's see, yeah, Cole McGrath from Infamous. Reason why is because I built a lot of anticipation for the game. I remember when, I remember watching the trailers, pre-ordering the game, and then finally getting the opportunity to play the game, and then when it came out, it exceeded my expectations of what a good character was. I loved him in part two. I thought that when they brought it over to the PS4, they was going to continue on with his character and taking it into new direction. Um, so, but they never, they never did that. So, anyway, I was glad to experience that character. Number four, probably would be ranked higher if it wasn't for these other characters that I truly, truly love. And that's Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2. Y'all got to forgive the back noise. Uh, it's holidays, so we got family over. Anyway, Assassin's Creed 2 is easily hand down uh, my favorite Assassin's Creed. Ezio's character played out big for me through um, Brotherhood and Revelations. I like the, the fact that we got to know him not only on just the surface, but we got to go deeper. And I just loved his, I loved his persona, his attributes, everything. He was just cool, suave, nice guy. And the games that played out, and I liked that they carried his character from the time he was born all the way to his death and revelations through three, three video games, which I played them all and beat them all and loved them all. And I um, wouldn't trade it in for the world. My number three, it would be Tommy Vassetti. Reason why I just loved his badass attitude, no holds bar, fearless, didn't really care from uh, Vice City, man. And Vice City is easily my favorite GTA game based off the fact that I love the 80s, I love the music, I love the color, the Miami Vice, the throwback Scarface a mixture of other. 80s cultural type things that was occurring at that time, but I love that Tommy Vercetti was just all about him. Really, he was selfish, he was vain, and he was the top pinnacle of what I would consider a bad guy. And I like, I love that game so much. I go back and play it occasionally here and there, and I've beat it numerous times. My number two is uh, Kratos. Um, I've built a love for this character from day one when I first was told about this game back in 05 and didn't play it. I don't believe I didn't play it till 06. I played all of the God of War games. I beat all of the God of War games on various platforms, whether it was PS2 or the PSP, uh, PS3, the PS4. I played them all, beat them all, got them all in my collection. And, uh, yeah, man, I, I just love his story and how he was another badass who was just able to slay all the guys and just do his own thing and be his own person and walk his own beating path and be his own leader. All those things combined made him such a badass. And then um, my number one would be Mega Man. Um, I've followed Mega Man from the beginning up till now I'm I've played it on various platforms but mine Mega Man is a uh, favorite Mega Man is Mega Man 2 um, I just love that old-school feel the side-scroller platform type game and then even leading on I don't know man it's just one of those things that has so much nostalgia for me and lasting memories that will continue on so those are my top five uh, favorite characters of all time um, they all play in my head and they all, um, they're always forever with me. I got other characters that I've thought about, but tell me what you think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know, I started a new vlog channel. Links down in the description. Other than that, I'm LightSpill79 and I'm out.